Welcome to No Longer Conformed. I'm Eric Garthy, and we are studying Live a Righteous Life, a series on the fruit of the Spirit. In this session, we'll be looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Fruit of the Spirit, faithfulness. Galatians 5.16 again tells us, Walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23 reads, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. These are manifest when the Holy Spirit is in control of the life of a Christian. The manifestation of faithfulness is loyalty and trustworthiness. The Greek word translated comes from the same root word as faith, pistis. The issue here is demonstrating faithfulness to the plan of God. Matthew 23, 23. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law justice and mercy and faith you ought to have done these you ought to have done without leaving the others undone someone said be so faithful that if you don't show up they send flowers does that characterize you if you're walking in the spirit it will because the spirit will man because the fruit will manifest Believers are commanded to demonstrate faithfulness as a manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Let a man so consider us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that one be found faithful. We are servants of Jesus Christ. We are stewards of the mysteries of God, the gospel message of salvation. Well, what is a good definition of stewardship? Well, a manager of another's goods. The best example in scripture is Joseph who managed all the resources of Egypt for Pharaoh, but he owned none of it himself. Psalm 24 verse one tells us, the earth is the Lord's in all its fullness, the world and those who dwell it therein. Listen, it is required in stewards that one be found faithful. God's stewards, stewards should have the distinction of reliability, fidelity, justice, honesty in what we profess as Christians and in what we promise to others. So often, Christians are worse than those in the world, the lost, in reliability. And why? Well, because often Christians end up with divided hearts. They're somewhat committed to God, but they're somewhat dependent on the world. As Christians, we are ambassadors for Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Now then... As ambassadors of Christ, as though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God is faithful, and Jesus our example. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. Through the Lord's mercies we're not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9. God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 8. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, 
<clears throat> did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 23 and 24. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. Believers are called to that faithfulness. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested and you will, be, you will have tribulation 10 days. Be faithful until death and I will give you the crown of life. In a world which no longer has regard for keeping commitments, a Christian's word should be his or her bond, a distinction of their reliability. Give the Holy Spirit control of your life and he will manifest the fruit. You think about that and you have a great day.